Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. What's going on, guys? In this vid, I'm gonna start talking about the E raised to one series. Now, if you guys ever heard about this value E, which is 2.71828.1828, and this goes on forever, right? Now, in Wikipedia, this is the definition of E, which is one plus one by one plus one by one into two, and it goes on. So, as you guys can see clearly, we're gonna try and make a program for this, and if you see clearly it's one it's actually zero over here there is a one by zero factorial because zero factorial is one then you have one by one factorial this is one by two factorial three factorial and so on right as you guys remember one into two into three is nothing but three factorial so now let's go ahead and see how the output looks but before that you'll probably have a question saying hey are you going to calculate this infinitely well actually no we are going to ask the user how many terms he wants. If he says he wants only two terms, we are going to calculate these two only. If he wants three terms, we go these three and so on. So let me go ahead and show you the output. I ask the user, enter the number of terms. He says five. I'm going to calculate the first five. That is one by zero factorial plus one by blah, blah, blah. All right. And you see value of E is going to be 2.708. At this point, you probably wonder, hey, why am I not getting 2.71828? Remember, it's all about accuracy. You put more terms, you get better accuracy, all right? So let me go ahead and show you how this works. So this is the definition which Wikipedia has given for that. This is the expression. I've taken this one, made it one by zero factorial. If you take this one by one, I have taken that as one by one factorial and this goes on. So now let's break this into pieces and try to understand each separate piece. All right. If you see first term is one by zero factorial, second term, third, fourth and fifth. So now this problem is merely about finding these factorials, right? Zero, one, two, three. If we can find these factorials, then what we do is we simply divide them by one and we keep adding each of these terms, right? First we have this, we add it. Then we add it with this, then we add it with this, and then we add it this, and to get the final value of e raised to 1, right? So let me show you what I mean. Initially, this block over here is what e raised to e is. It's actually 0 initially. Then I have 1 by 0 factorial over here. I put that inside your e, and that grows by some amount, right? Saying e equals to 0 plus 1 by 0 factorial. Then I have 1 by 1 factorial. I put that inside. It further grows to give you 0 plus 1 by 0 plus 1 by 1 factorial. Then you have 1 by 2 factorial, put that inside, it goes further and this way E is calculated, right? So now, before we go ahead in that beans, let me show you, we are going to use methods for this because factorial and then addition, then summing and all these things are going to get a big uh, complex stuff over here at the same place. We don't want that. So here we are going to have an assistant for the first time in all the programs we have made so far, we are going to use an assistant. So here you have our boss, all right. You know the name of this boss. You have been seeing this guy right from the first bit. Our boss is called public static void main string args. And here we have this guy who is our assistant. This assistant is called get fact. He has a name. He is called get fact. The boss is saying, hey, dude, go and get me the factorial for five, fact five factorial, six factorial. Calculate the factorial for me. The, boss, the assistant says, okay, fine, give me the number. So the boss gives him the number by saying int no inside the brackets. All right. Now the assistant is going to calculate the factorial somehow. The boss is not worried or concerned about how he's going to do that. But the boss just wants the factorial work done, right? He, does, he doesn't want any delays in that. He just wants the factorial. The assistant says, okay, fine. I have calculated the factorial according to some method I used. But how should I give it back to you? The boss says, fine, uh, do one thing. Give me an integer back give me the answer for the factorial so this is how it works this int number is what your boss is gonna give your assistant right five factorial six factorial whatever factorial the boss wants he's gonna give this number to your uh, assistant who's called get fact the assistant is gonna do some stuff over here blah 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 and ultimately he's gonna calculate the factorial and he's gonna give it back over here right this is how methods work in Java so let me go ahead and that beans make this method get this assistant to do his work and get our work simplified so we'll carry forward in the next vid if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day